Hi everyone, in today's video, we're diving into how to create an awesome dev effect. We'll be taking a closer look at the verse code and explaining how the system works. I guide you through the steps to implement this effect and share some handy tips and cool ideas along the way. Before we dive into the tutorial, welcome to Euphoriact. Our Discord server has tons of free codes to enhance your Fortnite map making. For exclusive codes and advanced features, check out our Patreon. Save on expensive verse files with our constantly updating and good quality systems. Find the link in our bio. Now, let's get back to the tutorial. Once you have opened up your UFN, go to the Verse Explorer and we'll create a new verse file and then open this one by double clicking. Once we have opened up Visual Studio Code, I just pasted the code you can easily find in our Discord down below. I'll start by explaining how this code works. So we have three editables. One is for the Def Niagara effects. This is a creative prop because uh, it's pretty difficult to spawn uh, Niagara at the current location of the player. So we'll do this by a creative prop that we'll create a blueprint from. And then in the blueprint, we'll drag a, a Niagara, but I'll explain that later on. Then we we'll also have the most important one, the elimination manager device. This will track if the player has died, we will start the function. And then also an effect duration, so you can easily change the effect duration in UEFN. So as I said, the on begin function is pretty easy. You'll basically have, if there's an eliminated event, we'll subscribe on that and we'll go over to this function, eliminated. So once we are in this function, it's an eliminated agent.agent. .agent, so it makes sure it's only on the player that has died that the effect will apply. Then we will uh, start by getting the fourth character from the agent. So this is important because we need to spawn it at the exact position and rotation of the player. So you'll see here, we'll create a variable position rotation. In here, we will save data from the fourth character. So the fourth transform translation, fourth transform rotation. And we do that by, we make that able to save that data by this function here. Then this function will make able to spawn the creative prop asset at uh, the exact position, the exact rotation, and with the effect, with the correct def effect Niagara. Then this function here will actually make sure it's a valid creative prop. If it has actually validated the creative prop, then we will uh, start another function, def Niagara effects handle, as you see here, def Niagara effects handle uh, is from the creative prop. So after we have waited long enough for the effect duration to end. So the effect duration is set here in the float. Then we will dispose of the creative prop. And then you have the fully functioning dev effect. Now that we saved our verse code, we'll just have to go to build verse code. And then the dev effect computer will pop up here. You'll see in the computer, we'll have the dev Niagara effect. Like I told you, this will need to be a building prop with the Niagara or um, an asset inside of it. And then the elimination manager will have to place down that device and also the effect duration. I'll just set that on five right now. So first I'll set up the elimination manager. So I'll go to Fortnite. So here we'll pick up the elimination manager. Then I can simply click on valid on self elimination. Else, uh, if the player killed himself, it would not uh, recognize it as an elimination. So I can drag the elimination manager in here. And now we only have, still have to make a blueprint. So we'll go back to our folder and there we'll uh, make a blueprint. We basically have to se select the building prop here. I'll name this one blue dev effect. In this blueprint, you can import anything you want. So you can also import a static mesh and then a static mesh will spawn at the uh, last location of the player that he died. But also you can import Niagara so you can have a visual effect. A quick and easy way to do this is just go by add and then Niagara. UEFN has some built-in Niagara's. So for example, uh, I think it has an explosion Niagara. Yeah, here, uh, gas explosion. That's a pretty cool one. So basically, what will happen, the player will die and the gas explosion, like you see here, will pop up. So we'll save that real quick. I will do compile. And now we can import that into our world. As you see, this will spawn at the player's death location. 
because uh, this is a one-time Niagara, uh, this will only happen once. But you can also make your own Niagara uh, by clicking here on the Niagara. Uh, and then I would advise to follow a YouTube video. The Niagara system of UEFN is completely same as in Unreal Engine. And you have a lot of tutorials on Unreal Engine Niagara's. So if you want to make cool effect, you can uh, go check it out on the uh, YouTube. So now we still have to drag in the blueprint into the Def Effect Niagara, and then we can boot up our session and check if everything works. Just for testing purposes, I put down a damage volume here, and as you see, when I die, I blow up. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and like if you found it helpful. The complete code is available for free in our Discord. I will see you there. Bye bye.